Hello and welcome to this short demonstration movie on how to use the CIS export file. We'd like just to take you through how to use the wizard and just give you some pointers to help you along the way. Now the export file will pull out all the cow calendar events that have occurred since the last milk recording. And if you have a milking parlor linked to your uniform program, it can also be set up to pull out the individual milkings for that recording. Okay, so this parlor has milk meters. Where can I find the milk yields? If we go to number two, milk management, and then number five, daily milk meter yields. Simply left click there. What we can see here is these are all the milk recordings for the current day. So that's this morning's milk yields on the 5th of March. Now if I step back, just by clicking on the left arrow, here we can see the two recordings from the previous day, and so on. What sort of things should I look out for? One of the most common problems on the export file will be that the farmer has not correctly entered the breed code or the AI codes, herdbook number or tag number for new bulls. Um, you can produce a bull listing and that will show you the information. And when you know that you have a problem with a particular bull, you just need to go to number seven, service bulls, number one, bull record, find the bull, that's a magnifying glass, double click on caliber, and here we can see we have the breed set up incorrectly. So we'll put in first of all the HI code, the AI code. And under other, we could then select and fill in the breed. And say OK. So it's easy to change. Where do I go and produce the export file? You find that in links. And it's down here. CIS, export data. Now what you can do, if you right click where it says export data to CIS and then left click, you'll see that's now put it on the toolbar. So we can go in and this will basically launch the wizard. What is the event update report? Okay, event update. Well first of all this is important. The last milk recording date we need to check that that's correct. Because we're going to pull off all the calendar events that have happened since the last milk recording. And if you select event update reports, this will then show you the information. So here I can see quite clearly six pages of information, all the cows that are carved and dried off. When you want to go to page two, top left hand side here, click on the arrow to the right and so on and so forth. That will show us cows due to dry off, cows that have been served and sold. If we go back to the wizard, if there is not an automated milking parlor, you can select none. Otherwise, you'll click in here and then go to next. What is retrieve data? We put retrieve data here because we set the system up so that up to four times a day it communicates with the milking parlor. Now, if the morning milking link, when it sucks out the morning milking, is set to go at 10 o'clock, but you're on the farm and they finish milking at quarter to nine, you may want to pull out that morning's information. So what you can do is simply left click on retrieve data and that will launch the link and start pulling out the morning milk yields. But we advise you give the help desk a call because some of the links can take longer than others and it may be better that you just take the previous day's production. Okay, if we then go to next. Why are there groups? I would put that in basically so that if people wanted to produce a different export file, for different groups of cows, maybe they had different breeds in different groups, then you have the facility to do that. But normally you won't tick that box and it will just pull out the information for all the cows. We then go to next. Now this is the section if you have an automated milking parlor and it's important we get this right. The easiest way to explain it is that you need to check that the milkings, milking one and milking two are set up correctly. So you click on edit and here you can decide do I want to pull out a day's production, morning and evening, or do I want the evening milking and the morning? So in this case, I'm going to say evening and morning. I've set it up for two times a day, but you could also set it up for three times a day. And you need to fill in the milking times. So this will be milking one, the afternoon milking. Now, if they start milking at four o'clock, I recommend that you put in 1500 hours, just in case they start milking early. And then the end time again, you can exaggerate that by an hour, that's not a problem. But please note that it's 20 hours and not 800 hours. 
Second milking, again, we set at 4.30, and then we said that that's going to finish. So once you set up, whether it's evening and morning, and you put in your times, then say OK. And those settings that stay there, that's it. They are now default settings. Um, you only need to change them if you decide to do something different. The only other thing that we need to do now is just to say here, start milk recording time. So in this case, I'm going to say 2 o'clock. And the end milk recording, that's basically the time that's on the computer at this point in time. So generally, that's going to be in the morning. It'll be 10 o'clock in the morning or 10.30, whatever time it happens to be. But you can change that to 9 o'clock if you wish. We then go to next. Where do I save the file? Okay, it's been designed so you can save it onto the desktop. Just by clicking here, that chooses the location. You can choose the location. And so, for example, that could be a memory stick. Now this section is important and you can see that once it's finished you can scroll up and down using the scroll bar on the right. Now this basically tells me what's been saved on the Uni2 Fox file. And essentially what we can see, all the ticks here are good, but if there's any warnings, there's anything it's not quite sure about, we have some six digit numbers here, these are the animals that we need to check on. We can then see that any purchase cows have been sent across carvings, PDs, and drying off. And the most important section is here. We can see that we pulled out yesterday afternoon's milking, 237 individual milk yields, and then this morning's, the 240. So if you have made a mistake with the milking times, you can see it quite clearly here. But if you're happy with milking one, milking two, that's it completed. So really, it's just a question of checking I have milk yields in uniform the correct AI and breed forms and select the right milking times. Absolutely, and if you have any questions, please call the help desk.